I think I stumbled on something. And this is where, okay, this is where the juice starts. This is the sauce right here, okay? And don't think this is about fashion. This is not about fashion. I'm going to give you guys some details. And you're going to go, oh, okay. Yeah, it's some possibilities and some involvement. Wrinkles, age spots, and sagging skin might be a thing of the past thanks to new research. Recent studies show what causes these visible signs of aging and the most effective way to combat them. A new anti-aging serum has taken advantage of these studies. Ageless Glow is shown to give its users more firmer, tighter, more supple, and more youthful looking skin in as little as seven days. I highly recommend it. With Ageless Glow, glow, you can finally enjoy a solution for crepe, paper skin, turkey neck, and crow's feet. Unlike typical anti-aging serums found on store shelves, Ageless Glow provides four ultra-effective skin-rejuvenating ingredients backed by real science. In addition to every order of Ageless Glow, each customer will receive free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, and a free new e-report titled Top 10 Anti-Aging Superfoods. If you want to try this miraculous plant extract yourself, go to glowwithnatalie.com. That's glowwithnatalie.com and get it for 38% off today or click the link in the video description box below. Muchachos y muchachas. So the Epstein saga continues to unfold fold and unravel itself if you know where to look and there are continuous developments and again these little details that could be pieced together something bigger that could be upcoming are very important so it was announced today that leslie wexner the owner of l brands as you guys know is a pa parent company to uh, big names like victoria's secret bath and body works the limited you know list goes on and on so big fashion enterprise, he announced that he was stepping away, him and his wife, excuse me, were stepping away from L Brands altogether and that they were not going to seek re-election onto the L Brands board. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the series of articles and start you off on this path of understanding what might be going on, what might be going on. All right, we're going to start off with the first article, which just really details the basic understanding that Leslie Wexner and his wife Abigail are leaving the company uh, officially. Now, this he was actually he announced retirement last year, so this part isn't a big deal. But this is actually published today, so I just want to let this be the lead for us to go down our journey. So this is coming from WWD, which is a fashion magazine, and it basically announces that. Uh, you know, uh, parent company L Brands reviewed Thursday that the company's founder, chairman, emeritus and former chief executive officer would not stand for re-election to the L Brands board at this year's shareholder meeting in May. Neither would his wife, Abigail. And, you know, it then details at the bottom, you know, because it, 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 it goes into who they're going to appoint in replacement of their positions or rather to lead the company instead. But then at the end is the juicy part. It says, earlier this month, L Brands, which also owns the Bath & Body Works brand, reiterated its plans to pursue a dual path approach to the separation of Victoria's Secret, either selling the Victoria's Secret business, which is, includes the lingerie, beauty, and pink divisions, or spinning it off from Bath & Body Works. So then that made me curious because I'm like, okay, what does dual path, approach mean you know what i mean like how are they is this somehow sort of diversifying of a business profile why are they doing that so i got a little curious which then brought me to another w wwd article same publication and it says here potential sale or spinoff with victoria's secret looms and this is where okay this is where the juice starts this is the sauce right here okay and don't think this is about fashion this is not about fashion i'm gonna give you guys some details you're gonna go oh okay yeah it's some possibilities and some involvement i don't know i'm just saying it might be my opinion and my perspective just to caveat okay so in this this article this is the juicy part here it says that um the an executive his name is Stuart 
Bergendorfer, he says, we're pursuing a dual path approach to the separation of Victoria's Secret and that they're considering a dual path. Dual path meaning looking at a spin option where Victoria's would become its own public company and separately a sell option where we would sell it to a third party. A sales scenario would likely have a significant tax cost to it, whereas a spin off done in the appropriate way, which would certainly be our intent, would be a tax-free transaction. Here it is. Uh, it's coming up. It's one of the many considerations, but obviously the tax leakage could be significant in a sales scenario, Bergdorfer continued. And that with a range of other factors will be considered by the board as we work through this process, we will get the right advice from legal and banking counsel. So here it is here. Bergdorfer added that L Brands was able to accumulate roughly $3.9 billion in cash in 2020. It also hired outside consultants, this is it, including Goldman Sachs and, is that how you pronounce it, Goldman Sachs? Yeah. And JP Morgan for advice on its next move. And here's just a quote. We're thinking about reducing debts. We're thinking about buying stock, Bergdorfer said. We do believe in an opportunity to drive appreciation in the stock, including through a rewriting of Bath and Body Works. And we're also thinking about resuming a dividend. But these are all things we're just thinking about. No decisions have been made. It's been a big subject. But the good news is we're in a good place. Okay. So hold on to that, right? So they're seeking counsel legally and banking wise through these big names, Goldman Sachs and by JP Morgan. Well, I, the the name Goldman the Goldman Sachs just caught my eye because there was a recent headline in the news that also contained that name. It made me curious, so then I looked, and I found this. So actually, let me do this. Recently, Jeffrey Epstein's mansion in New York went on sale for $51 million and it was sold by a mysterious buyer. Later down the line, as of as if a day ago, they identified the buyer. And guess who it is? This is who it is. A man by the name of Michael Daffy, former Goldman Sachs exec revealed as mystery buyer of Jeffrey Epstein's NYC mansion. Well, you might think, no, oh, this is uh, this is a coincidence. Goldman Sachs' affiliation, I'll get to that soon too. It says, former, and this is from Forbes, former Goldman Sachs executive Michael Davey purchased convicted sex abuser Jeffrey Epstein's New York City mansion last week. A spokesman for Daffy confirmed Thursday with a portion of the proceeds going into a fund to pay Epstein's victims. And here's just the highlights, the key facts from this article. And this is helpful because I'm not going to go through the entire thing. Daffy bought Epstein's 28,000 square foot Upper East Side mansion last week for $51 million using a combination of cash and bridge loan. The spokesman Stu Loser said in a statement after the deal closed last week 10 million dollars from the sale was routed from epstein's estate into a compensation fund for epstein victims jordy feldman the victims fund rate fund administrator excuse me fund administrator told forbes last week and then it says the victim's compensation fund had previously suspended payments because it hadn't had enough money to pay out the claims. But the mansion sale allowed payments to resume. And then Daffy was chairman of Goldman Sachs Global Markets Division until he retired in March. Very interesting, right? So he just retired and it's, you know, it it's just sort of the way that the headline, you know, it's, it's very... Um, simple that he's a former former executive but that little fine print there that he retired in March meaning this month going back to the WWE I'm sorry WWE like it's wrestling WWD article um, this was written last year no I'm sorry this year so February 25th, 2021. I just find it very interesting that they had counsel from Goldman and Sachs. The executive from Goldman and Sachs bought Jeffrey Epstein's mansion in which, as you guys may or may not know, was Leslie Wexner's mansion. Leslie Wexner 
gave Jeffrey Epstein like the keys to his kingdom. And that part is very, very curious. Even today, like up until today, his colleagues, his friends, I'm talking about Leslie Wexner, they're really confused as to why he would do that. Why would he give up his entire empire to Jeffrey Epstein? And in, in back in those days, um, I do have I have some proof here. This is coming from the New York Times. Here we go. Let me get this up. Oop. Here we go. All right. New York Times. Can you guys see that? Yeah. All right. New York Times, um, how Jeffrey Epstein used a billionaire behind Victoria's Secret for wealth and women. And let's just skip down here. It says, Mr. Wexner authorized him, Jeffrey Epstein, to borrow money on his behalf to sign his tax returns to hire people and to make acquisitions over the years. Mr. Epstein obtained a New York mansion, a private plane, and a luxury estate in Ohio, today valued at roughly $100 million altogether, previously owned by Mr. Wexner or his companies, at the same time drove a wedge between Mr. Wexner and longtime associates and friends. Um, oh, and uh, still... I'll come back. I'll come back to my thought it finishes virtually from the moment in the 1980s that Mr. Epstein arrived on the scene in Columbus, Ohio, where L Brands was based. Mr. Wexner's friends and colleagues were mystified as to why a renowned businessman in the prime of his career would place such trust in, with an outsider with a thin resume and a scant financial experience. So all of that is very, very curious. But as I was uh, I was going to say right before I finished that paragraph off. So Leslie Wexner gave Jeffrey Epstein power of attorney. So he gave him full control over his finances, his estates, that mansion. That mansion was Leslie Wexner's. He just gifted it to Jeffrey Epstein. So, you know, all of that is very curious. And if even his close friends and family are mystified by that relationship, one can only imagine. In fact, we can only use our imaginations. Um, but yeah, that, you know, that that's very interesting that gold, you know, that just that that relationship between L Brands, Goldman and Sachs, Goldman and then Goldman and Sachs purchasing the Jeffrey, uh, not Goldman and Sachs retraction, the former executive who only stepped down this month. So as of days, you know, stepped down from Goldman and Sachs to retire, bought the mansion from the Jeffrey Epstein estate in which initially belonged to Leslie Wexner, who is the head of L Brands. You see where I'm going with this? It's really, it's really just astonishing that there's little details like that that you can catch in articles from fashion magazines, from regular magazines, uh, you know, mainstream magazines is what I mean. Um, but yeah, they were in, it seemed to be in, in financial trouble last year. And even, you know, here, here's, this article too from ABC News. Billionaire businessman Leslie Wexner refuses to reveal full scope on Jeffrey Epstein's alleged multi-million dollar theft. So he he accused Jeffrey Epstein. This is Leslie we're talking about here. Je Leslie Wexner, a billionaire founder of the L Brands Retail Empire, who in 2019 accused disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein of misappropriating vast sums of his personal fortune more than a decade earlier, has so far refused to reveal the full scope of that alleged multimillion dollar theft. So, see, which doesn't add up because he there is actual documentation of Leslie Wexner hang, handing over the keys of his kingdom, his power of attorney over to Jeffrey Epstein to do make all of those decisions, including I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he utilized his funds to finance that island. Look, I 
I only see what I read and I just connect it. That's all. Uh, so guys, what do you think about all this? Isn't that some surprising information? It's crazy that, you know, this is all related and it just takes a good eye to put it all together. <laughs> So we'll have to see what happens next. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this information. And don't forget to support the channel if you can. And if you feel led to it, you can go to nataliedenise.com slash donate, or there are easy links in the uh, description below. Uh, thank you guys again for watching this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.